Get down and get funky this Saturday night down at the Comic Con. Entrance is free for first timers. To celebrate the final event of the year before anniversary, we have a selection of dance partners for you. Who will you be doing your free going with? Wakatanka! The great mystery within all makes a stunning debut on the dance floor. With his usual tactless self, Wakatanka joins the party anytime he wishes, stunning many nearby onlookers with his gaudy protective suit while breaking the ice for his group to follow up with. After passively taking up the energy of the scene, Wakan Tanka intrudes past his friend's boundaries and copies the style they brought to the club, before bringing down the entire house with his raucous sun dance, an especially devastating move in the first turn of each phase. After his breakout performance, he uses his fashion runway experience to repeat his electric act for a smaller crowd directly in his column. As an on-demand buff copying board wiper, alternating to a column player, Bakan Tanka is adept for both farming and challenges. Care to dance with him all through the night? <laughs> the spotlight stealing center of attention enters the nightclub to debut new techniques. This time dropping his one-on-one -on -one combat style with one on all for clearing breakdancing. Vigorously rushing through the dance floor at his entrance, Batham crushes his foes with increasing fervor as the night creeps on. Technique unstoppable and only improving with the praise of spectators. Bewitched dance competitors are dumbfounded and ready to be mopped up by Batham's own dance crew, who follow up with a clean, focused, and strong routine. Though his impact is moderate enough for farming, his real strength channels his origins, have him face challenges to mow down opponents in flashy fashion while denying any counterattack. Watch out for his consistency though, as not everyone falls for Batham's charm. You are not immune to Batham propaganda, though. Stop this. Brother, ugh. What's that? What's that, brother? Damage? Not with those stats, amp conditions, and flat damage values. Defense? Short-lived, selfish, and locked behind an inaccessible charge. Healing? Minimal, restricted by timing, and splintered across different health ranges. Utility? Situational for positional control and low impact for debuff mitigation. You ever look up at the night sky and become filled with wonder? Seeing how Saturnus performs does exactly that, leaving you wondering how such an incoherent travesty could exist. <laughs> Girls just wanna have fun! Halkman and her crew come adorned with adamantine cosmetics, ready to turn heads and draw eyes. On arrival, every soul in the house is assaulted by her provocative aura, branding them as her personal victories while denying their chance to turn up their own riz. Her crew follows up by teasing any branded playboys. They tried their best, but Hawkman needs someone above her level. As the night carries forward and eyes scatter elsewhere, Hawkman needs some encouragement to return the attention rightfully back to her. But when she's ready, both she and her crew can play their love game all over again with renewed strength and fortitude. With her time in the limelight somewhat limited, her farming and challenge use is limited to the first two turns. But play your cards right, and you may just turn her head instead. Freshly reborn, the space splitter naively makes his debut in the pub, with all the anxious bravery that entails. Burning himself firmly with overtensed muscles and acute focus, Nerodok unknowingly steals the entire dance floor with his seemingly effortless, yet in reality overplanned, moves. His spectators are blown away with an oppressive 54,000 damage per square at magic range. If anyone is somehow able to counter Nerodok's moves with their own response, he proactively dives into Masusu's Ma in shame, losing his aura, defense included, leaving him completely vulnerable to full damage. With this as his only drawback, Middle Dock is an extremely competent unit at farming with his guaranteeable amps, so long as he faces no opposition. He can split more than just the floor into, you know. Life Wonders has announced the release of new rainbow tickets, with which you can redeem permanent 5 stars, including units up to the end of 2023. With this in mind, the infamous Oscar will be available for redemption, undercutting the need for the two board wipers of this banner. Meanwhile, there is a clear superior between the two magic damage dealers. So the question is, should you pull on this banner for Meridoc 
for those with some extra pocket change and who isn't saving for the inevitable annual event reprints during December's anniversary, pulling a bit for Mirdok is a sensible decision, given his low rarity and higher summon rate. Even if you have an abundance of magic damage dealers already, Mirdok will necessarily be an improvement to any team full of them, given he's the third strongest in the entire game. In fact, he's the strongest reliable 4 star damage dealer in the game overall. Otherwise, Mirdok is far from necessary, so don't feel pressured to break up the wallet. That's all for now cuties, catch you next time!